Okay, hello guys, uh, welcome back. I'm uh, here to uh, discuss uh, once again this uh, a polar to rectangular conversion scheme. Now, actually, this uh, conversion scheme here is uh, uh, the one that uh, I had been applying in my previous uh, presentations where well, you have this magnitude uh, phase angle and this complex uh, uh, format. So only for those uh, who are still not uh, familiar with this uh, conversion scheme, you can uh, just follow me. Right. Well, we have here an inductance here, a sample of an inductor here. It has a, a, a reactance and a resistance here. So in the graph, you have the axial and the re resistance here and also the impedance here. Okay, from uh, this point, if we are going to do to find this uh, uh, polar coordinates uh, from this point here up to this point, this is the total impedance of uh, this uh, in a sample inductor here. So at this uh, point here is the one, uh, the maximum opposing uh, uh, resistance to the current, which is the impedance here, and uh, this uh, impedance can be obtained through this uh, Pythagorean theorem here which is uh, z squared is equals to r squared plus uh, x xl squared the imaginary and uh, you can have this uh, impedance magnitude here and if you want to find this uh, this uh, uh, phase angle here you can just uh, use this uh, uh, theta is equals to arc tangent arc, arc tangent uh, xl the uh, the imaginary uh, and the uh, resistance uh, which is the real part okay and if you want to uh, find this uh, z here with its complex format the real part and this uh, imaginary then you can just use this r is equal to z cosine theta from here and x and the the, the uh, uh, imaginary or xl which is z sine theta also from here all right and these are just the impedances summary I uh, just uh, would like you to uh, see okay let's uh, take for example uh, how we apply this uh, uh, is uh, polar to rectangular conversion format here we have your example of a balance so y y circuit and of course in the generator side or in the source side we have this uh, uh, okay this complex form and uh, all these inductance here are also the same from these two phases here because uh, they are balance load and we have here the uh, line impedance here uh, and also we have there the uh, uh, load impedance uh, of this one which is also equal to these uh, two phases here because uh, it is also a balance uh, uh, load and uh, we have a given uh, VAN here which is 120 uh, 30 degrees volt and uh, this 120 magnitude is also the same magnitude for all these two phases here but with a different phase angle okay let's uh, do some uh, exercise uh, we apply this uh, uh, polar to uh, rectangular conversion scheme uh, we have a given uh, in the previous uh, uh, slide we have given uh, this uh, um, impedance in the generator and the impedance in the line and the impedance in the load you have all this and you have to do the to the, the addition for this addition for this and you have the total of a z impedance uh, 25 plus j20 Okay, let's obtain the magnitude of the Z but during, uh, using the Pythagorean theorem. So we apply the Pythagorean theorem here and we obtain this uh, magnitude uh, of the impedance uh, 32.016. And uh, if we uh, uh, take the uh, phase uh, angle, we just have to use this theta equals to arc uh, tangent uh, the uh, imaginary part uh, which is uh, 20 divided by the resistance which is 25 ohms and you'll have this at uh, 
tangent uh, arc tangent 0 0.8 uh, uh, you have this uh, uh, phase angle of 32.66 that's the phase angle so if you want to find out how how I how I how I uh, obtain this one you can just uh, press your calculator inverse tangent and the tangent will come out uh, 38.65 which is this one okay let's solve the line current uh, IA and convert its phase angle to a rectangular format uh, okay we have the, the IA the line uh, which is a VAN the total of the impedance and the VAN is given 120 then the phase angle is 30 degrees and we have this uh, total uh, uh, format magnitude of the uh, in total impedance 32 point and uh, uh, with phase angle of 38.6 and so you can see this uh, um, line current here you, you transpose this uh, up to here for the phase angle then the phase angle will um, will be become a negative one so 30 plus 38 point minus 38.6 and you have the magnitude here when you divide this 120 divided by 32 you have 3.75 and uh, transposing this uh, phase angle going up and then it's going to be negative 3.8 degrees for your uh, line current for the magnitude format if you're going to uh, convert this to rectangular form you just need to uh, find this r r the resistance and the cosine negative 38 3.7 then you have this and you can find this uh, r resistance 3.7 and also for the uh, uh, imaginary imaginary axel which uh, becomes uh, 0 0.5 so you have the current ia 3.7 uh, with the imaginary 0 0.25 amperes here okay okay that's all folks and uh, always stay safe uh, uh, guys uh, because covid is rampaging thank you very much have a good day